Good morning to all. This is Ann Jones Guider coming from District 4 here in Douglas County. And I pray all of you are well and trying to make the best of this temporary time out. I will only take a few minutes of your time, but would like to throw out just a few suggestions and thoughts dear, to be used during this time. Please stay at home, except to run out for supplies or medicines, unless you have a small business that does not come into contact with uh, the public. Stay at home saves lives. As Pre President Reagan once said, we cannot do everything for everyone, but we can do something for someone. Check on your neighbors, especially the ones you think might need help getting supplies. Don't just call them one day, but check back with them periodically, making sure they have your number ready, readily available. Make sure you keep your cell phones charged and voicemails emptied so people can reach you at any time. Make sure you have plenty of gas in your vehicle in case of an emergency. Most importantly, you should follow the guidelines of health organizations. Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Cobb and Douglas Public Health has a lot of information out there, as does coronavirus.gov. This is affecting all ages. No one should think they're exempt from this. Give blood if you're healthy. There is a shortage, as always, but especially during this time. But you must call for an appointment by contacting the Red Cross at 1-800-RED-CROSS. Donate to the United Way or other organizations who are helping local communities. Although the government is addressing our immediate needs through legislation, you can also take steps to help yourself. You may be a candidate to refinance your home with the low interest rates. Call your mortgage company. Also, contact your mortgage company about pushing back your payments under the Mortgage Relief Project. You must call them to do so. If you have been laid off, apply for your unemployment. Whatever you do, do not let the emotion of fear override your wisdom and discernment. The Bible says God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I heard a pastor once say there are 365 fear nots or do not be afraids in the Bible. That is one for every day of the year. That's comforting. Most importantly, pray. A very powerful tool against any enemy. Pray for our community, our state, our nation, and the world. Also, pray for our leaders, especially our president and the many people who are putting themselves out there in harm's way to fight this enemy. The scientists, doctors, nurses, firemen and EMTs, policemen, caretakers, and the, even the cleaning crew, and our service men and women who have been called in. Pray for a vaccine or antidote. This has been a hard lesson to learn on what and who are important in our lives. As bad as, as bad as it is, we will learn from this, especially our dependency on other countries for essential, uh, such as uh, medicines and medical equipment and supplies. We should be producing those here in our own country. Nevertheless, this too shall pass, as the Word of God says. Thank you for all you're already doing to help, and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you.